Action News, I'm Anna Samovska. We here at Action can't speak enough about the importance Golden Rice has in feeding malnourished children across the world, especially in underdeveloped countries. Today, we applaud an organization called Allow Golden Rice Now that took drastic measures in its launch on Wednesday with a grassroots demonstration against Greenpeace right outside the group's headquarters in Toronto. Today, we caught up with Dr. Patrick Moore, the leader of Allow Golden Rice Now via Skype to talk about these efforts. Here's what he had to say. Two million people are dying every year from vitamin A deficiency, most of them young children and their parents are watching them die a slow death because they can't afford to give them a balanced diet or buy vitamin A pills or anything else. It's mostly people in urban slums in Asia and Africa. Golden rice is the cure for this malnutrition. It's not a disease like AIDS and malaria and tuberculosis, which also kill many people every year, but there's a disease agent there. This is just lack of beta carotene, which is an essential nutrient that we make vitamin A with in our bodies. Greenpeace is opposed to golden rice, is the problem here. And they and their allies, through their political intervention, just basically saying the scientists are wrong, the nutritionists are wrong, the humanitarians are wrong, the farmers are wrong, everybody's wrong. They're saying that golden rice is not a solution to vitamin A deficiency, when in fact it is the best solution because it won't cost them a cent in increased cost, they'll still just be buying rice, but if they feed golden rice to their children, their children will not go blind and will not die from vitamin A deficiency. Talk to me about the scientific data that shows vitamin A can be absorbed by eating golden rice, because that's obviously an argument. One of the outrageous things about Greenpeace's opposition to golden rice is they constantly complain that there hasn't been enough testing on golden rice to see if it could be harmful or toxic in some way which is ludicrous to begin with, because the only difference between normal rice and golden rice is beta carotene. There are no genes in a kernel, in, in a grain of rice. So the, the genetic change part of it isn't even in the rice. It's like oil, for example. If you take oil from a genetically modified plant, there's no genes there. It's just oil. And this is just starch with beta carotene in it. And we need support from the grassroots, because the mainstream media is tending to be on the Greenpeace side, as they are in so many of these other issues. And this, for, therefore, we are looking for grassroots support from the agriculture community, from the science community, and from the humanitarian community. And we think all of those people, when they read our website, will realize that we are on the right side on this issue, and that we should push this really hard and make Greenpeace change their mind. To learn more about the Golden Rice campaign and how you can help, head to our website, aksha.org. While you're there, don't forget you can sign up for our daily dose of news delivered right to your inbox. For Aksha, I'm Anna Samovska.